Hey everyone, welcome to another top 10 list, and welcome to my top 10 favourite movies of 1985. I've done a couple of top 10 favourite movies of random years lists this year, like I did 2005, I did 1984, I did 1982, I did 1989, 2003, 1984, and 2006. 1985 is another one of my fa personal favourite years of cinema, because it's got a lot of great films, Oscar films, and fun blockbusters, so let's get to it. And as always, before your top 10 list, you've got to have your honourable mentions. And my honourable mentions are Teen Wolf, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Rambo First Blood Part 2, Rocky IV, A View to a Kill, The Black Cauldron, Follow That Bird, Brazil, Police Story, Ran, Santa Claus the Movie, Young Sherlock Holmes, Silverado, and Fright Night. All great films, just could have made a top 10 list, but what did make my top 10 is my number 10, which is Commando. Commando is one of my favourite 80s action films, and another one of my favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger films. It's another one of his best films, it's got badass action scenes, the explosion like effects are fun to watch, and the lines are amazing. Don't disturb my friend, he's dead tired. Let off some steam, Bennett. I could quote those lines any time, and overall, I love every second of it. Commando. Anyways, number nine is Witness. Harrison Ford's Witness. Another one of his best movies that I think this is the film he got an Oscar nomination for. It's the one about him as a police officer who has to protect this young boy and his mother in an Amish country after they witness the murder. It does a very good job at talking about the Amish countries, so yeah, Witness is a great film. I highly recommend you check it out if you have yet to see it. Number 8 is Clue. Probably the only good movie based on a board game out there. Great cast, like you got Christopher Lloyd, Tim Curry, Michael McKean and Madeline Kahn, I think her name is. It has a great whodunit mystery-like murder story on... These people who come to a house and they slowly get murdered and they have to find out who the who did it and stuff. Great ending with with several alternate ending, endings all tied together in one film. I, it got the characters from the board games in it like Professor Plum, Mr. Green and the way they tie the board game into the movie is very well done. So yeah, it's funny as well. So yeah, Clue is another one of my favourites of 1985. Number seven is Legend. Definitely one of Ridley Scott's most underrated films. It's also an awesome fantasy film starring Tom Cruise as a forest dweller who has to stop the Lord of Darkness, played by Tim Curry, from marrying the woman he loves. It has amazing visuals, characters. Tim, Tom Cruise is great in it, but Tim Curry steals the show as the Lord of Darkness and it's not one of my favourite 80s fantasy films. Anyways, number six is Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Um, this is so far the only thing I've actually seen related to Pee Wee Herman, but I love it. I love this movie anyway. It's also Tim Burton's first movie that put him on the map, and it's super funny film about Pee Wee Herman going on a national, ne I'm sorry, nationwide adventure to find his stolen bicycle. I love its humor, so yeah, Pee Wee's Big Adventure is not one of my favorites. Number five is Return to Oz. This is an unofficial sequel to the 1939 MGM classic The Wizard of Oz. When it comes to other Wizard of Oz adaptations, this is the one I enjoy along with that classic. Sam Raimi's Oz the Great and Powerful is pretty underrated in my opinion, but I wouldn't say it's on the same levels of greatness as that timeless 1939 film, but I still love Disney's Return to Oz. It does a nice job at continuing the story where Dorothy finds she's back in the land of Oz and has to like rescue her friends like the Scarecrow, the Lion, the Tin Man and has to restore Oz back to the way it was. It's also pretty dark at times but it's still a good movie. Anyhow number four is The Color Purple. The Color Purple is another one of my favorite Steven Spielberg films. It has a powerful story about the trials and tribulations of a young African-American woman living in the early 20th century in the US. Got a good cast like Ruby Goldberg, Danny Glover and Oprah Winfrey. 
And it is a pretty emotional movie, but at times at least. But very important film to watch at least once in your life. I highly recommend you check it out. Anyways, number three is The Goonies. Hey, you guys! Great family treasure hunting movie. Super quotable. Also got a good cast like Sean Astin, Josh Brolin, Corey Feldman, and Kei Hui Kwan, to name a few. Fun story about these kids going on a treasure hunting adventure to find the treasure of One-Eyed Willy to save their house. The best way to describe it is like Indiana Jones, but with a group of kids. So yeah, Goonies is a great film. Number two, though, is The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club is definitely one of my favourite teen films and my personal favourite John Hughes movie. Um, I love its coming of age story about these teenagers who spend attention together the whole day and they get to know each all know each other since they are different to, since they are different of each one, but they understand each other very well. It does a good job at talking about subjects that teenagers struggle with, and yeah. I think te even teenagers today can relate to it. But number one, what else do you think it would be? It's obviously Back to the Future. Like, this is easily the best movie of 1985 because when any time anybody thinks of 1985 in terms of cinema, they think of Back to the Future. And for many good reasons. Like, what can I say that, that a million people have not said about it already since it's been talked about a lot? It's one of the greatest films of all time that still holds up to this very day. It's fun, entertaining, timeless. Marty McFly and Duck Everett Brown are one of the greatest duos in terms of cinema with such great chemistry. It's got good sequels, but the first film is so iconic and will always be remembered as one of the best time traveling films for years to come. So yeah, those are my top 10 personal favorite movies of 1985. What are your top 10 favourite moves of 1985? Tell me down in the comments and as always thank you all for watching and skadoosh.